uh, before I start, uh, I, I would like to just say something. Um, obviously, it was just tragic news uh, yesterday. I left shoot around uh, the other day, um, and uh, it was after game, uh, before game one. I went straight to school to pick up uh, my boys, and my wife uh, used to be a, um, a junior high uh, teacher, and and um, we're just devastated by the by the news, and uh, and can't even imagine. Uh, what that community and, and the families are feeling, you know, in that kind of scenario, <laughs> going to school and, and seeing all the police cars and, and everything. So um, I think there's a certainly a, a, after continued uh, events, uh, there's a call to action. I think uh, everybody uh, is trying to figure out a, a way to be heard uh, to, to force some kind of change. Um, you know, from the people that can can make change, I just really uh, feel for all the uh, the families. Eric, sorry to turn it back to basketball. Um, Tyler, was there something you were hoping to see in the interim, and what did you see to lead to this decision of being out again? I mean, obviously, you have hope, um, but I, I kind of had an idea, you know, when we were leaving, that he does need some rest and recovery. Um, these are, these can be tricky. I know how badly he wants to be out there, and that's why, you know, we'll we'll listen to him. Um, but you know, these decisions have to be made by the training staff and and our doctors, and um, we just have to be responsible, you know, to to our guys as human beings. You know, um, you know, this is admirable what both sides are doing, you know, right now. But you don't want to be irresponsible as well. Thank you. Eric, you had to make a similar message on February 14, 2018, after the Parkland shooting. Um, just, you know, as a basketball coach, but also a human being and a father, how difficult is it to car 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 compartmentalize? Yes. It is tough. Yeah. It's very tough. My wife and I had, uh, you know, uh, kind of a tough afternoon, you know, reflecting on it last night for those very reasons. Uh, and it, it does feel like just yesterday that we were going up there, you know, um, and spending time uh, in that community and just the shock uh, that it was happening, uh, you know, so real uh, in our neighborhood, uh, really, um, in our community. Uh, but it just continues to, to happen. Um, and I know everybody is saying that there needs to be a call to action. I think what uh, this is forcing people to do is just to figure it out, including myself. We don't have the answers, but we want to be heard to be able to, to force change the people, to the people that can actually make the change. All right, Coach, thank you. Okay, thanks.